right now let's come back and do one more distinguishing test where i've picked up distinguishing between primary secondary tertiary alcohols as well as phenol so i've uh, demarcated the board into four columns now so the first test which you're going to do is lucas test so what is lucas test basically you're going to take uh, concentrated H, uh, hcl with zncl2 and hydro zncl2 you're going to mix so what do you get you're going to take the compound concentrated hcl and zncl2 you're going to get turbidity basically whenever you're writing lucas test you'll write in terms of turbidity only done so what do you get here turbidity appears after on heating only hope you would have seen this it appears on heating for the primary alcohol so when i have to speak about secondary alcohol it appears after 5 to 10 minutes so you're going to write turbidity appears after 5 to 10 minutes suppose if i have to write tertiary alcohol spontaneously as soon as you add tertiary alcohol and hcl and zncl2 immediately turbidity appears spontaneously this is the main differentiating test spontaneously done so when i have to write phenol it will not respond to zncl or lucas test so you can write this is f this one no turbidity observed no turbidity observed so this is your demarcation or distinguishing test so when I have to come to idoform test, as I've explained earlier, ethanol, we basically uh, like uh, we say it, it should be a methyl ketone where oxygen should be added. So here I've already shown in the earlier uh, uh, video, you get an yellow crystalline compound, crystalline compound uh, here in some it, it would be written as no effect observed but uh, let i'll show you the reaction here compound is formed so when i have to speak about this one here you don't have a uh, oxygen attached to this one carbon no methyl uh, methyl ketone so no effect negative effect or you can write negative report here also no effect negative done here when i have to write the reaction just to do observe i'm going to take ch3 ch and your ch3 a secondary alcohol what is iodoform test here you're going to add iodine solution to this iodine iodoform means addition of iodine in the presence of an alkali so now i'm going to take sodium hydroxide plus alkali uh, that is sodium hydroxide and iodine here i'm going to add six moles of this here i'm going to add four i've already done this video watch for iodoform test in the alcohol chapter so you will uh, get that so what what does it form it's going to form one two three four types of compounds again i'm mentioning i'm not explaining it here you can clearly watch uh, i've shown in that video how is that iodoform also formed please watch that so it's going to form iodoform chi3 so this is iodoform which is an low ppt along with that you get hco na and nai and water i'm not showing it here just i've written it but this is not the way you have to understand the concept i think uh, when i have to see five moles because one mole here one mole here and water also will be five moles so please observe carefully so this is the iodoform which is from chi3 sodium formate sodium iodide and water now it is balanced let me check 6 5 plus 1 6 water chi3 so 4 2 is 8 5 plus 8 it is balanced so this is the distinguishing test this and this will not show done so when i have to come to bromine water what am i going to do i'm going to take bromine water and add to the compound phenol uh, sorry primary alcohol secondary alcohol tertiary here no effect it will not show because that is a characteristic test isn't it for the aromatic aromatic compounds no effect no uh, or saturated non-saturated compounds also we test so no effect no effect no effect but here these are not saturated unsaturated aromatic in nature so when i have to take bromine water when i take phenol like this oh and i'm going to add bromine water to this br2 water so what is it going to form it's going to form a compound called 246 tribromophenol hope you would have seen this video 246 tribromophenol and your hydrogens from here get replaced hbr so this is a thing which these will not show that is a characteristic test of phenol
let's see one more test which differentiates between primary secondary tertiary alcohol as well as phenols so now so victor mayer's test when i have to see all the three will respond but the end product would be uh, different but phenol will not respond no effect or negative test and remember that so how should i write the victor mayer's test just see first you want to take your tertiary alcohol sorry primary alcohol done everywhere the same so secondary tertiary now to this i am going to introduce phosphorus plus iodine so what is the use of this when you are introducing this nucleophile oh is going to be replaced by iodine what do i get i get ch3 ch2 i idoalkane now to this idoalkane i am going to introduce silver nitrate so what will happen agi minus agi will occur and no2 will replace this so what do i get i'm going to get nitroethane isn't it done now to this nitroethane further you're going to introduce hno2 nitrous acid when you're introducing observe carefully this is an important step little bit different so now uh, uh, what do you have ah now see here what product does it form it's going to form a compound called a nitrolic acid so what is this nitrolic acid this is ch now this is your central um, this one uh, uh, carbon no2 is still existing here it's going to form double bond noh nitrolic acid is this done so let me count whether one two three four so this is not here so this is the count you're going to get nitrolic acid now to this nitrolic acid first the when i'm going to introduce a sodium hydroxide nitrolic acid is going to form a blood red color precipitate blood red color ppg observed so this is one now when i have to write with tertiary alcohol let's write again ch3 your ch and your ch3 and your oh now what am i going to do i'm going to introduce phosphorus plus iodine now the OH is replaced by iodine. What do I get? CH3. Your this in, uh, OH is replaced by iodine. Now to convert it into nitro, I'm going to introduce a silver nitrite. So minus AGI. What compound do I get? I'm going to get CH3. This CH3 secondary alcohol I said, and iodine is replaced by NO2. I get this. To further replace this, what do we get? I'm going to add HNO to nitrous acid same step so here what will happen <coughs> here you you have got it uh, here isn't it in the center but when it comes here you're going to get it here in this compound this carbon ch3 c ch3 and your uh, uh, this is an n double bond o right so this hydrogen is here this is called a pseudo nitrile pseudo nitrile then now when i'm going to introduce sodium hydroxide to this i'm going to get a blue precipitate which demarcates this is your red color precipitate this is your blue color precipitate let's come back and see tertiary alcohol the same step again i'm going to take ch3 your tertiary alcohol oh and ch3 to this i'm going to introduce phosphorus and iodine this OH is replaced by this iodine nucleophile. So what do I get? I get a tertiary alcohol with iodine. Done. Right. Now to this, I'm going to introduce AgNO2. Then NO2 will replace iodine. I am going to get tertiary I'm iodoalkene. Tertiary with NO2. Done yes now what am i going to do next of the step is over here then i have to introduce nitrous acid to this hno2 you will not get any nitrolic acid because there's no replaceable uh, this in. so hydrogen here so no reaction further if i introduce sodium hydroxide also i get no reaction so this is how you you're going to demarcate between one two and three phenol anyhow will not get uh, will not show victor mayer's test so uh, a bit clumsy i think so please note it carefully I have to see litmus test we very well know phenol is acidic in nature so this particular thing is a weak acid so you will not find that clear demarcation this is also a weak acid this is also a weak acid so phenol is the only uh, compound which is going to turn compared to all these will turn blue litmus red turns blue litmus red so this is your demarcation test or distinguishing test so let's come back and meet do the next category of distinguishing tests